All right, guys, as you can see, we are now in front of Balai Kota. Yep. It is a Jakarta provincial office, and it is where all the government makes all the important decisions when it comes to making policy. And when there's a big uh, celebration here in the capital city, just like Jakarta's birthday, there's always plenty of events there. As you can see right now, they are preparing, I believe, for another one later yep. on today. Now, speaking of all the uh, hot spots and your favorite places mm. in Jakarta, what are your, some of your favorite places, Rama? Oh, I can say for sure every Sunday, almost every Sunday, my kids right. would actually like um, come to pick me up. Right, here after work. After work, uh -huh. right? And then we went, we will go to that uh, place, which is the Monument National, Monas, right. just in front of us here. Correct. And then we'll take the Delman ride. Oh, you actually so ride Monas that. Monas would be my favorite. All right. How well, about I, yours? I love uh, Chinatown. I'm always right. big on Chinatown because I love taking my kids to try all the traditional foods that's always mm, there. Good one. And I like to just show her that, hey, some of these places have been around for tens or 20 or 30, 40, 50 years even. Yep. So, and it's always great because none of them even change. They're the same stalls mm -hmm. as they used to be. The food tastes the same. And even the prices stay the same as there well in a lot of like these that. places. Okay, now, so obviously it's not just um, Monas and, you know, Chinatown mm -hmm. as you you mentioned before we were talking about this um, ice cream place, yes. right? Ragusa, Ragusa also. old school. Well, obviously, um, we are still going to talk more about that, and there will be no end to our answers yes. about what we like the most about Jakarta. Okay, so from skyscrapers, parks, museums, historical places, Jakarta has it all. That's right. And speaking of which, since you're talking about places that hold significance in our capital right. city, earlier we saw a number of tourist attractions in the uh, destinations in the Menteng area. Mm -hmm. Now we have another one, which is called the Menteng Elementary School. Okay. Now the school was attended by the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. For the next destination, we are going to an elementary school where Barack Obama studied. It is Menteng State Elementary School 1. Little Barry, the childhood name of Barack Obama, went to this school from 1969 to 1971. In this location, we can see the statue of Little Barry. The butterfly in his hand represents peace, where he got the Nobel Peace Prize in 2009. Obama visited the school in the middle of his visit to Indonesia in 2017. And this was made in 2009. And this statue uh, was placed not uh, suddenly in the school, but first in Taman Menteng. Okay, Taman Menteng is not far from here. Yeah. And it was in the December. December, uh, it was placed in the Taman Menteng, but in February, uh, 2010, it was moved to this school. In her first tour, Galu, one of her participants, stated that learning the history of the city can be very exciting. I really want to know like the history behind like Suropati uh, uh, Park and also like the school of Barack Obama. <laughs> It is beyond my expectation because like, I didn't expect the tour will be very thorough about the history and about the detail of the places that we uh, visited. And I also like, met uh, new friends and that is super fun. The last destination of a tour is Frog Park, Mente. This open space filled with frog statues is one of the favorite parks to do activities such as exercising or just spending time with friends. The Frog Park Manthang used to be a headquarter for Persija Football Club in 1920 and used to be known as Manthang Stadium. Chon Min, the only foreigner participant from South Korea, stated that this is his third time joining the walking tour. He is hoping to learn more about the city where he currently lives while pursuing his master's degree. I'm here for the for knowing the city uh, where I'm living in and I don't know much about the Jakarta. Maybe next time that I, when I met meet a uh, foreigner I I can explain about uh, Indonesia. The tour is led by a professional guide from Jakarta Good Guide community. They are trained and recognized by the local government. They have over 37 tour routes that are conducted in English and Indonesian. 
You can pay as you wish to join the tour package from the Jakarta Good Guide. The amount is usually based on personal satisfaction and service. Last time we have, in the pandemic, we have only a virtual tour about the, our governor, the previous one. Yeah, we talk about that, but now this time we will take a chance uh, since it's no longer pandemic, hopefully it's only level one. So we will have kind of like a guiding competition and we have also a vlog uh, competition. Well, what an exciting way to enjoy Jakarta. I personally feel so happy because finally I know more the city where I live. And of course, for the bonus, I think it keeps my body healthy because I guess I move a lot. So, why don't you just come with me, join with me, try to enjoy Jakarta in different way. Akashia Fiandri, Nico Arianto for Sit Today.